Bad time? Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking. A few years ago we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars something something. Ah, good to know the Black Ones are looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Faster. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. His love just left home. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm hmm. Show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though, so step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they, too late, attacked another one.
Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamp now. He was a stable hand, and I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found the Nilfgaardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. Was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts blade stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. It, Roach. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. Was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have wanted me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan, for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, 
Got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. T'were old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, but he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Priceless frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. Soldier might have. Found the pan, have you? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot, and I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. Soot's just what the gentleman needed. He scraped it off, made ink out of it. And... and the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny, for the road. Fry up a nice white fish for... Or a pike. 